subscribe to KSKYL and then click on that bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. What's up guys, KSK here and in this video we can take a look at installing Android 7.1 Nougat based on a Lineage OS 14.1. So this is an official guide for both Motorway 2nd generation 3G as well as the 4G variant. So make sure that you watch the video till to the end without wasting any time. Let's get started. Alright guys, so before going into the main video, so the things you need is a, a Moto E second generation with unlocked bootloader. So if your device don't have an unlocked bootloader, I made a separate dedicated video of unlocking the bootloader of Moto E second generation. So make sure that you watch the video, so I will leave the link in the description for the video specifically. And second thing, you need a Windows PC. And also this guide is exclusively for the both Moto E second generation 3G as well as the 4G variant users. The following procedure will going to be same for the 3G and 4G variant. So in this video, we will be using a Moto E second generation 3G variant. So download all of the files for your specific variant from the links in the description of this video. So I already downloaded all of the files for the Moto E second generation 3G. So this is the TWRP for the 3G variant. So the first we're going to flash the TWRP and then we're going to flash the Lineage OS 14.1 based on Android 7.1 Nougat. And again, you need to copy these two files uh, uh, lineage OS 14.1 as well as the G apps on your uh, device either internal or micro SD Alright, so once you copy uh, these two files, if you want to make a backup of these two zip files, so go ahead. And I'm going to be delete these two zip files because I no longer need these two zip files. Now once you, you know, copy those two files, we need to install these two files on Windows computer. The first thing is the uh, Motorola Device Manager. So this is going to be install all of the uh, drivers of your device onto the Windows computer that are required for this installation process. Once you install it, now we need to install ADB in Fastboot. Right click on the ADB setup and run as administrator. So this is going to be open the ADB in Fastboot inside the command environment more. Here you're going to type the uh, Y, a letter Y, and then Press enter again type Y to install the ADB and fastboot as system wide once you press enter it's gonna be install all of the drivers and last but not least I type Y to install the uh, default Google Android driver this should gonna be install the ADB and fastboot driver so that we can access these two drivers using the command prompt anywhere on the system to check whether it is installed properly or not on your computer so right click on the Windows logo and then click on run and type CMD so it's gonna be open the command prompt here you can type the ADB as well as the fastboot so if you type these commands and you're gonna get these replies that means we have successfully installed ADB as well as the fastboot and last but not the least least we need to install the uh, TWRP and then we're going to flash the uh, Lineage OS 14.1. For this first we need to prepare our device so back to the camera view so as you can see this is the Moto E second generation a 3G variant so first let me go ahead and go back to the uh, settings and then I'm going to go to the about phone so here you can see it's running on the Android 5.0 Lollipop so which is the older version so come to the bottom of the page and then click on the build number seven times so this is going to be activate the uh, developer options if you go back and you can see the uh, new option developer options click on that and turn on the developer options now under the debugging you can see the option called the USB debugging so make sure that you need to turn on the USB debugging so and also make sure that your device has around a 50% of the battery so once you're done enabling the USB debugging so connect your phone using the USB cable from the computer and then back to the uh, computer view so on your computer hold shift and right click and open command window here so here you're gonna type the command called ADB and then uh, type dev ADB devices and then press enter the daemon will gonna be send a command to your phone at present is showing the offline on your phone you can see a pop-up alert box like this and go ahead click on the allow uh, for this computer and then press ok so and again run this command ADB devices 
So this time you're gonna see the a token or the reference number that is indicating that the device has been connected to the computer properly. And here we need to type the command called ADB reboot bootloader and then press enter. So once you type this command and then this is gonna be a reboot your phone into the fast boot mode. So on your fast boot mode, so you, as you can see, under this you can see the uh, USB connected. So if you see USB connected, that means uh, drivers are installed properly on your computer. So then we need to type a DIR. So that's gonna be show all of the files in the current directory. So we need to highlight a TWRP and then press enter that's gonna be copy the name of that so then go ahead and type the command called fastboot flash recovery and then type TWRP and then press tab key to autofill it and then press enter so this is gonna be a flash the TWRP on your phone it's gonna be around a one to two seconds and then back to the uh, camera view so uh, take off your USB cable and as you can see on the screen you can see some of the bunch of the uh, lines so now we need to use the volume keys to boot the device into the recovery mode so press volume down to highlight the recovery and then press volume up to confirm booting into the TWRP so at first glance you're gonna see the unmodified system partition so go ahead and swipe to all of all of the uh, modifications so the one thing that I'm going to say here, uh, one important note. So before installing any custom ROM or any kind of related things uh, regarding the root custom recovery, whatever it might be. So I definitely recommend, please uh, make a backup of your existing ROM. So just in case if you don't like the a, a lineage OS and you will be able to uh, go back to the uh, stock Android. So once you made a backup, click on the wipe and then swipe to factor reset. So I already have a made a couple of backups earlier so then go ahead and click on the install and then uh, look for the uh, zip files so lineage os 14.1 as well as the open g apps select these two uh, files and then swipe to confirm flash so this will gonna be probably the installation process may gonna take around by five to ten minutes please be patient and it's gonna be complete very fast and as you can see, it's successfully done flashing these two zip files. And then click on the reboot system. Uh, the first boot uh, probably going to take around a 10 minutes. So please be patient and don't disrupt anything on your device. Now, as you can see, and finally, we have successfully booted the Lineage OS. As you can see, it's on the welcome screen. So I'm going to quickly bypass the welcome screen. So this is an official uh, Android 7.1 Nougat, and uh, which is uh, based on Lineage OS 14.1 for our uh, the Motorola second generation 3G or 4G variant. So uh, to confirm, I'm going to be go to the settings. I'm going to quickly going to jump to the about phone and then I'm going to show you the version that is running on so as you can see it's running on the Android standard one nougat so that's about it and uh, that's the whole video and uh, if you follow the video entirely and you will gonna be get a successful installation process so, and by the way if you want to go back to the stock Android you can simply switch back to the TWRP and then restore uh, to the uh, existing ROM that's gonna be take you back to the stock Android so that's about it video if you like it give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and this is your host KSK signing off.